I knew Brian was a great, you know, defenseman for Johns Hopkins, and I was playing midfield, and, and I remember stepping onto the field, and Tony Seaman thought it would be funny to actually have Brian Volker cover me out on the field, which was uh, something that I was like, you know, I took a look and I was like, oh, are you kidding me? Brian's playing me, you know? So uh, we ended up matching up against each other during the game, which was, which was fun, uh, but we ended up losing. So, you know, Johns Hopkins beat us at Minigan Stadium, and so that was how, you know, we really had some, some first interaction. Brian was always, you know, one of the best athletes on the field, uh, was always in great position, strong, fast. You knew where he was on the field and uh, try to get the ball as far away from him as possible when, uh, you know, when you're on the field. So, uh, so, and, you know, not only could he play defense, but when the ball hit the ground, he was great at picking up ground balls and taking down the field, you know, to start a fast break. So uh, he, definitely, he, he definitely made uh, himself noticed all over the field. Um, and, you know, where, where do you start on what he's accomplished in his career? I first got to know him when I was at Towson. You know, I, I think he was the captain of the Hopkins lacrosse team at that time. Uh, I think he was a three-time All-American. I played with him on the 94-98 uh, U.S. lacrosse team, and in 98 he ended up being on the All-World team. He could play good defense on the best of them, pick up the ground ball, go down the field, and score. Uh, so it was, it was fun to watch him play, it really was. And he's taken that same work ethic and use that in his coaching now and, and he's one, you know, he, he's actually taking these programs and taking them to the next level um, everywhere he goes. So everything he touches, you know, he takes to the next level, which is, uh, I would expect nothing less from him. I just think Brian's one of the more genuine guys that, that you'll meet. He's very direct. Um, what you see is what you get. Um, but I think his work ethic is, is second to none. I think he's extremely focused on the goals at hand. And it, like I said, he just, always seems to, wherever he is, he seems to take that team or that program to the next level. And for Brian, he's still achieving that. I mean, he's still in the game of lacrosse, so it's still going on. But I think for him, just being remembered for some of the, you know, the plays and some of the levels of play that he exuded on the field uh, is, is what it's all about. And so no better, no more gratifying goal than to be elected into the National Hall of Fame. Volks, just wanted to say uh, congratulations to you. Just wanted to uh, thank you so much for allowing me to, uh, to honor you and your, your playing experience and, and our friendship and allowing me to induct you into the National Hall of Fame for the 2015 class. Um, have a wonderful night and again, glad I could be a part of it. Love you, man.